what is up guys how's it going big cheese here with another video for you today's video is a really exciting one guys it's the first episode of our podcast our call of duty related podcast i'm calling it the big cheese podcast i'm going to be uploading it once a week for you guys start off talking about modern warfare 3 beta and then we move on to talking about the new warzone map and a bunch of other cod related stuff i hope you enjoy check it out i was telling someone the other day as we were playing it's like as you're playing the game like especially favilla i felt like my brain was re-rendering yeah. as i'm walking through the map yeah yeah, it's like yeah. re-rendering re-remembering everything about it right? yeah exactly one of my buddies was like um on the first day he was like um this isn't favela they changed the map and i was like have they and he was because i was working and then when i loaded up i was like this is exactly the same map dude <laughs> he just didn't remember favela it's been yep. so long mm -hmm. yep it's been so favela is actually my least favorite of all the maps in the beta I, my, I love i love high rise i love rust and i love estate and skid really? row you put it you put a state uh, you put a state above favela huh i put favela at the bottom i don't think it plays as well now as we remember because of all the mantling and stuff you can get killed from so many more different angles that yeah. you can't really like corner check like you're running right. around you, you can't corner check them all you can't you know but favela no yeah no that's way. just me that's just me so what do you like were you like were you disappointed that it was all old maps and no new maps no me neither I didn't care. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I love those maps. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't care that they didn't add any new maps. I really didn't. I was like, I'll play these maps to death. Dude, all, all day long. And, but also, I think later on, we're supposed to get uh, Terminal? Terminal is definitely going to be back. Yeah, because they, they showcased that strike. Um, I'd, like to see, uh, I'd like to see Overgrown back. That would be awesome. You remember Overgrown? Yeah, I remember Overgrown. Overgrown was awesome. And what was the other one? Block. Yeah. Block. That was an amazing map. But I was playing on uh, Modern Warfare 2 last night. And we played uh, Search and Troy and Showdown. Yeah. Just so many amazing maps. They don't even need to bring any new maps. They don't even need to bring any new maps. Just bring all the old maps back. This nostalgia will carry this game. That's what I'm saying, man. I agree. But I, agree. Um, I think... What do you, um... What do you, what were you going to say? What do you think of the perk system? Slash I love the new perk system. I think yeah. it's really good. And like, uh, like that, that you can tell they're trying to balance it for all the way from demons down to casual, super casual players. They're trying to balance it, you know, and like, I, like I, the way that you, um, you can't have like, uh, what was it? You can't have overkill and silent footsteps because of the vest system. You know, as soon as you put the vest on that gives you overkill, it gets rid of your boot slot. I don't know if you noticed that. So you can't equip boots. Yep. So you can't be running around with a sniper, an amazing SMG, and silent footsteps. So, could you and, imagine? Well, yeah, but that's what it was. Wasn't that's what it was essentially back in the day. And yeah. like, I, and people, there's people who are calling for this back, and I'm like, it's just gonna be garbage. You need balance, yeah, and yeah. like this way as well, like. With Warzone, with Almazra, it became, this is the best loadout to run. Everybody run it. Everybody run smokes. Yep. Everybody run drill charges or throw in knives yep. if you want to finish. Everybody run ghost or everybody run high alert. And it just made all the other perks redundant. Yep, and I think uh, this system is going to cause people to go, right, okay, we're running trios today. If you run this vest, I'll run this vest. We'll do this. And it's going to Bring up variety and people are going to be like well especially me are going to be uploading like builds for your squad rather than yeah. builds for the individual you know as well i think i think i think it's really good i think i love it i love everything about the perk system yeah i'll tell you this much right now like uh, it's, it's you brought up the smokes it's funny because i won't i won't run anything other than smokes and, yep. and resupply I think it's going to be this, so I, vital right now. I think it's going to be the, the same current. in the war, in this war zone. I think it's going to be the same. I think smokes is going to be the one. But they brought in some cool tacticals like battle rage that had to get nerfed. Oh my god! Uh, but they nerfed it and they nerfed it into the ground though. Yeah, yeah. And now it's crap. And now it's pointless, yeah, it's <laughs> like it was before. Completely pointless. Completely <laughs> pointless. Exactly. Um, but this, this, but this, this, the lethal, this bomb drone. Yeah. I was talking to you on x or twitter or whatever <sighs> dude for me i can never get the thing to work i love it but every time someone threw it at me it worked flawlessly 
I love the um I love it. It's gonna it's a, like you know when they brought drill charges in, everyone's like, oh these dr these these are amazing for pushing people camping buildings or playing yeah, buildings. Yeah. I don't like I don't like to use the, the, the phrase camping buildings, especially for Warzone. Because if it's final circle and there's a building in a good position, I'm it's gonna take that shit all now. day long and we're gonna fight out of that, you know? Because yeah, it's the best position. This is what I've always said too. This, so if it's the last circle, like I don't I wouldn't use camping at this point. Even if it's the last couple of circles and you know you're trying to predict where the zone's going, you're gonna lock it down, you're yeah. gonna you know, throw a trophy down, you're gonna do it. Like you you watch Apex, that's all people do in the final circles. They play the zone, they play the circle, they play the buildings. Yeah. And I think war zones like that, you know, it's, it's not like in multiplayer where there's some guy lying in like the trash bags at the back. Right. Away from all the fighting, just oh. trying to pinch people off doing the flanks, you know? It's not, it's not camping, I don't think. But back to what we were talking about, the breach drones. And it's another way to get those buildings. You throw them up through the windows. You can throw them through the, uh, through like the ceiling holes, ceiling yeah. tiles, all that it's stuff. Technically, whichever way you point it, right? It's it, like, so, so it, uh, uh, if you were watching, if you hadn't played the game and you were watching someone use it, you'd be like, oh, it just flies in a straight line to wherever they go. But it doesn't. When you throw it out, it dips a bit. If you throw it while you're moving, it's going to, you know what I mean? You really do have to like stop and you sort of have to like guide it out with your stick, but it will essentially go where the ret uh, where, where, where the reticle is when you've released it is where it'll try and go to. And do you have to activate or prompt it? No, it just blows up as soon as it comes in proximity of a person. That's what's, cr that's what's crazy to me, man. And the demolition vest actually gives you two of them. Shit. So you get two lethals with the demolition vest, which is what I was running in multiplayer. The OP for search and destroy is the demolition vest. You get two drones. It doesn't affect any of your other slots. It doesn't affect any of your primary weapons. You just get two drones and you get restock, which is every 25 seconds your lethal and tactical restock. So yes. that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. I love that. What are, so if you were going to say your main pros of the beta, what would they be? I just think it's, I think it's an all-round win. I, I really do think it's an all-round win, and I'm, I'm super excited for the new Warzone. But, like, Same. I loved Al Masra. I didn't think the movement was no. that bad, as bad as everyone was thinking. I think a lot of the bad stick that Al Masra got was because people wanted to jump right in and just be the, be the demon they were in the last game, be no. just as good as they were in the last game instantly. And when they realized that wasn't it, they started calling out flaws in the game. Yes, the movements were slower and stuff, but the movement wasn't bad. I don't think the movement was bad by any stretch. Like, there's a lot of games where movement's terrible. True. I think this is a part where, like, I think this is, like, the, the pinnacle of what, caused, what people have so much controversy with Warzone 2. Is mm. For me personally, I love the fluid movement of Warzone mm. 1. For me personally, yeah. it was Warzone 2 is, is sticky and slow. Mm. And that's what a lot of people feel compared like. Compared to it, yeah. I guess, compared to it, yes. Yes. And the one thing that I notice it the most, and not even just slide canceling, right? Like slide canceling, slide canceling, whatever. For me, it's whenever I have a, a lethal I want to use to soften the enemy up and then pull back my weapon to then help finish them as I push them. If the time it takes for me to throw my grenade, pull my gun out while I'm pushing, it just feels like I'm working in slow motion. Yeah. And yeah. this is the thing that always gets me. Yeah. And I get it. I do get it. I do. But I think a lot of the people who wanted slide canceling back mm -hmm. still are getting what they wanted back mm -hmm. because it doesn't reset your tax print. Exactly. And I, I want, I want a lot of these, you know, these like these demons these these guys who break cameras you know want back it's not going to reset your tax print and that was my only problem with slide canceling like if you were looking out into an open field or you were trying to shoot someone that was running sideways dude i don't care you, you can call me bad but if you're trying to headshot someone in like caldera who's run across an open field who's spinning slide canceling bubbling up and down it's near impossible it's near impossible you might as well just go for two chest shots it was um it was stupid but now you can cancel your slide, you can cancel your reload, fine, you got all that back, but it doesn't re your, reset your tax print, which is yeah. the perfect balance, I think. Yeah. Which, this, did you know, this is why they said that they nerfed the absolute crap out of snipers, yeah. is because the movement was slower. Therefore, it gave snipers even way more advantage to get their headshots, right? Yeah. So, this is what gives me hope. 
that since the movement is more fluid for Modern Warfare 3, it's su supposed to make Warzone 3, or Warzone now, they're taking away the 3. They're, that's why they say they're going to be able to bring back one-shot snipers. Yeah. Because movement is fluid, therefore it takes more skill as a sniper to, to hit actually them. hit them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, listen, I'm okay with. I'm I okay. adapted to snipers not being a one-shot. I'm... I don't mind their back as one shot. I didn't mind that they took them out. I just adapted and didn't really moan about it. But no. I, I do oh, look I forward. Do. I do look forward. Like I do look forward to. Complaint. Well, yeah, like in, in always, my main complaint in the dance for a while. I used the AX50 as my main, and like you know, I was, I was, I was a sniper. But mm -hmm. when when they weren't one shot, I just built a Victus that ate up plates, and that was my role in the squad. You know, this guy's cracked. He's one shot. Finish him off. This guy's this guy's cracked. He's one shot. Finish him off. You know, easy, and and that's how we do. But I, I, again, it brought another, it brought an element of teamwork to the game that wasn't there before. Yep. You've got one sniper. You know what I mean? Um, yep. and I, and I, and I like that. I really do. Did you, um, did you play the ground war mode at all? I didn't touch ground war. No. No, it was okay. It was very laggy, but it was quite fun. But what's crazy is like. Like guys like us who are mainly wars and we don't realize how many people play these game modes yeah there's so many people who play like ground war and freaking kill confirmed and only play shipment DMZ. even dmz there's people that are oh. die hard dmz fans die hard dmz fans that i didn't know about yeah exactly which brings us on to like the new zombies mode which uh -huh. i'm really looking forward to uh dmz was missing something remember. and i think it yeah is the zombies and now that like they brought this like dmz style zombie mode back that's pve only so you can't really get griefed in it while you're trying to work and grind i think it's perfect you've got the balance you've got if you want to go if you want to go ruin people's days hit the war zone slay if you want to get back with your Chill mates out. get some snacks get some drinks and the good thing about the map is i don't know if you've seen um it's the Uzbekistan map it's the full war zone map and the outskirts would be like less dangerous and as you move in it'd be more like hot zone for zombies but better loot so you can okay. have a chilled sesh where you just loot the outskirts try and extract safely all that stuff and but do other operators you you still fight other operators or no 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 it's pve okay so you're essentially working you can essentially work together squad up I can't remember how many other squads they said four five six so everyone can go in together. You have well, no, no, you, you, you go in with your squad, and then if you want to team up with people, you've got to meet them in-game. Okay. And, like, you know, so maybe proximity chat will be a bigger deal in this one. Interesting. Hey, that's interesting, though. Yeah, and it'd be like, oh, you know, there's this boss where there might be this boss or this area where four of you are going to get slaughtered. But if you team up, with, team up into a squad of 12, you stand much more of a chance. That's kind of cool. But yeah, they haven't really they haven't really confirmed all the details, you know, so. Yeah. I guess we'll know when we know. Exactly. Yeah, what do you think of the map? I mean, it looks good, man. It yeah. looks it looks good. Uh, all the map changes, bro. All the all the new maps, if I can say new maps. Bro. Yeah. So my thing is, it looks like it's weird what they went with. So, okay, whether you do or do not want Verdance back, what they have done is created this balance. Yeah, the hybrid. For, yeah, the hybrid. But for me, the colors of Verdansk is what I didn't like. But mm. they brought the colors mm. of Verdansk and kind of put it into the map. The map looks banging. Don't get me wrong. The map looks banging. But it feels like, I don't know, people would, much, would rather have a remastered Verdansk, which we could possibly get probably we like metaphor put up get. a tweet saying it's coming back didn't he yeah like some other streamers some other guys and, did as well and let's i mean just think about it if they're not absolutely out of their minds they will at some point bring it back at least put it in rotation because they know that a lot of the community wants that like a lot of the community would love to play verdansk yeah right so, yeah it would bring a lot of players. Yeah, it would. Back. It would. More but also, how many times have we back. like sat back and gone? Now is the time to bring the dance back because you are pissing people off. Uh huh. You know, mm -hmm. I just think I don't think they expected Caldera to be a, 
so poorly received so as it was. It was so. such an awful map. It was Horrible. so bad. Couldn't see a thing anywhere. Bushes yeah, everywhere. It was a fucking joke, dude. Like huge bottom. open areas. Ugh. But they had airplanes, which. Well, they took I, them out, though. I, they took I them out for a few that. seasons, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, they <laughs> yes. I freaking loved the airplanes. Like, I, what I don't get is, like, okay, well, what, why did we only get airplanes with, with, with Caldera? Yeah. Like, why not have some modern aircraft? Like, Well, I've been saying, that, I've been saying this for, for, like, a while now. I've been saying maybe some vehicle aspects in Warzone. Like, yeah. bring in a tank. Like, for instance, the tanks in Ground War, they're not OP. Like, if they're you focus not, fire on them, not, you not. take them down pretty quick. So, and again, we go back to it, it would bring some diversity to the squads and what they're running. You'd maybe have a guy running an RPG as a secondary. And then you're creating, without, without going too far in the direction of Battlefield, you're creating a squad. You know, you're creating a, a team, a unit, where, you know, you have, because, like, you know, Big Tony, he used to love running the RPGs in Verdansk because the RPGs would take down the smaller vehicles in one shot. And you, yeah. you know, if if you had a squad running along the road in a jeep, Tony had his RPG, and you'd take them out, which is, mm -hmm. you know, but now like vehicles are in the game, nothing, nothing really blows them up properly except maybe the uh, Joker. The Joker yeah. maybe blows up. Yeah, the Joker does I mean? a good job at it for sure. And yeah. like vehicles are just like pretty OP to be honest. Like you just you yeah. can just use them. There's no no risk. There's no risk to all piling in one sheet metal jeep there's no risk anymore it's just okay we'll just go and you, and and the speed you can jump out at is ridiculous if anything pushing a squad in a jeep and all jumping out is better than pushing them normally because you just spring out of it and they can't track you well you can you can literally launch yeah if you hit the if you hit the buttons just right you can literally launch like 30 feet out in front of the vehicle mm -hmm. you basically teleport yeah for the other team and it's ridiculous yeah, it's, like bring the tanks in bring the ground war tanks in make the armor at the back of them weaker yeah. like like World War tanks were. I don't know if you know yeah. anything about them, but they were the, the back armor was always weaker because they didn't want it to be too heavy and they never planned on getting it from behind as, as, as a tank crew. But mm, okay. if you could get a team behind them and you hit them with their RPGs and... Yeah. Benito. I think it'd be good. You know, I say, I say bring back the C4 that we can throw 30 feet and blows up. I don't know about the 33, 30 feet throw, <laughs> but... Again, we uh, again, again we're going back to like certain lethals are just useless. Like, yeah. why why have C four in the game? What's the point? Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no one's using that shit. No, no one's C4 using it. C four does absolutely nothing. Yeah. When before it's all well, let's say Verdansk when it came out, like that's all I used. That's mm -hmm. so OP. Yeah, and that's what I mean. C four oh, C four should blow up a vehicle in one. Yes. But you should have to get closer, like like yeah. Battlefield. You shouldn't be able to throw it. Like, because in, in Verdansk, you could you could stand outside a building and throw it up into the second floor, couldn't you? And it was ridiculous. <laughs> fun. Yeah. It was fun. But you know, that is the, the thing too, Chief. It's so, it's fun. Yeah. Right? No, like, I'm with it you. it made the game so much more fun. Like, yeah, C4s were a little broken, right? Okay. One-shot snipers with a car 98 all the way across the map. Yeah, it's a little bit broken, but it was fun. Mm -hmm. And so much fun to watch. Yes, I guess my only problem with it is, like we said, it makes certain stuff redundant. The car ninety eight made all the other snipers redundant. Like, why would you bother? Just like just running like the MCPR, the MCPR, makes everything redundant. Yeah. What, what other snipers do you see anyone using in Almaja right now? Yeah. Yeah. The FJX, the Victus, or the MCPR. MCPR. Yeah. And primarily the MCPR, just because it's been for me the most consistent. Mm. It's got stupid bullet drop. But it's been the most consistent. But yeah, yeah. all the marksmen. <laughs> yeah, I know. You That's what I mean. Literally and that, that was the thing. The, the Kana A was a marksman rifle. It was a marksman. It was a so it just made the it made the, the sniper category of the armory absolutely redundant, absolutely okay. pointless. And I, I don't think we want that again. I don't want that again, dude. I really don't. I do. You do. <laughs> I, I do. I, I do. But listen, you know what? No, because I was on the receiving end of that for so long. I'm mm. like, damn, man, this guy just whipped me one shot and got out and i was like you know what i'm gonna screw it i'm gonna learn how to do that and i did i tanked my kd mm. like nothing it was 0 0.7 because i wanted to learn and i learned and it became so much fun and then they nerfed it and i'm like well shit you know yeah i just think i think heavy snipers need to have a role and if you bring in another marksman rifle like the car 98 they're not going to have a role they're not going to have a place in the game uh now 
so let's say like your let's let's say the HDR. The HDR was very long. Yeah. Right. And then they eventually nerfed the car to like what fifty meters. Mm. I, for me, it should be more than fifty meters, but it shouldn't be as long as the HDR. No. Right. Well, your bigger your bigger sniper rifles should definitely have that reach, and one shot. Yeah. Let's say something like a marksman should mm. be one shot and should be definitely more than fifty meters. Yeah. More than fifty meter. What's fifty meters like? Yeah. No, I know. I, I know what you're saying, but the thing is, like, again, with with Vedansk especially, no. and Caldera, not so much Amazra. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, how many times are you in a firefight that's further than 150 meters away? Like, you, it's almost never because heavy snipers aren't. You know what I mean, it's like you, if you keep heavy snipers relevant you create more variety in like combat situations and stuff like long distance the long distance sniping fights like you might have a team here and a team here 200 meters away and they're sniping at each other whereas in like warzone caldera it was like right let's try and slide cancel and get as close to these guys as possible so we can use our car 98s yeah you know what i mean so yeah yeah well there's a sweet spot with the car you with the car i never got super super close like for me, where where sniping breaks down and it's just weird is when you have like no scoping, like straight off and mm. all that. You're trying to push someone in a building with your no scope sniper. For me, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's what I mean. But it's fun, Russ. It's uh -oh. fun. People like uh -oh. doing it. It's fun. <laughs> hey, then you know what? I'm I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah, like, exactly. It. You could argue I mean, anything though. You could argue anything. You could. You could. But at the end of the day, it, sh it should be fun, and it should be fun. Mm. It should be fun. So um, let's talk about the haunting. That's tonight. Yeah. Well, this is going up on Wednesday, so it started last night. Yeah. Theory. But I'm pumped. These are like some of my favorite events when they whenever they've happened. Uh, after the garbage events we got with Caldera and the Krampus yeah. and all that bullshit. Ugh. Dude, I, don't. Even. I mean, that wasn't the haunting. But dude, Krampus, I I never actually came across. Krampus does still haunt me though. Krampus I know. Yeah. Haunts me. He was from Christmas, but he still haunts me. I um, I think that. So funny thing, I never actually came across the Krampus, because I stopped playing Caldera because I hated it so much before it dropped, Fair. and Fair. then I was just watching clips of it and I was like, I'm so happy I'm not playing right now. This looks fucking terrible. Oh. This looks garbage, and those annoying little elves. Nope. Oh, like Jesus, but. The zombie mode. Yeah, you... Other other people know you're fighting Krampus, and then they would come third party you. Yeah, exactly. And like, or... and could you even kill him? Yeah, you could kill him, and oh. when you did kill him, you get ammo and plates. But it's like you're ringing the dinner bell for any yeah. other team. That's we're here. Mm -hmm. um, we're here, and we're busy, and we're wounded. But I think uh, in Almazra, especially, dude, this zombie mode is going to be awesome. I loved it in Verdansk. You know, we, we we become a zombie or a ghost, and you have to collect the vials. Yeah. It made some crazy high kill games, some crazy final circles, and I'm I'm so pumped to play it tonight. Yeah. That's cool. What about I, you? I'm not the I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I no. do like it as a change up. Mm -hmm. Right. I like it as a change up. You're gonna and give it a go. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it for sure. You I don't know if it's play the haunting. I don't know if it's trios or quads, because I've got a few boys who want to play, but if it's just trios. No. Trios I think it was trios last time. I don't think it I don't think it was quads. Honestly, can't even remember. Mm. All I know is I wanted to get all of that pumpkin Punisher, bro. For for me, the Verdansk one, I wanted that because that was when the growl was at top yeah. tier, bro. Yeah, it never really felt bottom tier, but that it was didn't. When the growl was top top. The growl, tier, the growl broke the game for the first like half a season. Yep, like, well, I got my first win with bro. The nah, growl MP5. The growl was amazing one. I bought I bought a skin. Pack. It was like a white skin pack, crisp black and white skin pack, skin pack with some like uh, gold trim, and it had the ground and the AX50 in it, and that's just all I ran for a long time. Yeah. Loved it. That's, it's crazy that you ran the AX50. I ran it for like a little bit, then I went to HDR, then I. If the you uh, check out my on my channel, search Big Cheese Sniper Montage. I made a little sniper montage back when I was like had no idea how to edit. It's so it's so crap, but the shots. The yeah. shots are good. The the clips are actually good, but the editing so bad, man. Do you look back on your stuff and just go? Rrr. I will. I cringe. Jeez, Jeez I challenge you at some point. 
go look at my very first video, you're going to piss your pants. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. My thumbnails, dude. I'm like, what was I thinking? And I, I always I mean, used to like ask my, my guilt, well, my wife now, her opinion on them. And she would also say, oh, that one's a good one. They were terrible. <laughs> they were fucking terrible. Oh, my God. They were shocking. Yeah, bro. Oh man, no, my I don't even have thumbnails on my first videos. And if you look, if you just if, like scroll through, sometimes I'll go scroll through to see, like, you know how much I've done and how mm. much I've progressed, and it's just so crazy. Once you get to the bottom, it's so bad. It's good though to see as well. Like it oh, makes you it makes you like wince, but it's good because yeah. you you know you you're improving. Yeah. Um. So the mon anyway. the Modern Warfare Three beta out of ten. Let's do what we give it out of 10 and what would have bumped it up to a 10. You want to go first? Okay. Yeah, I'll go first. For me, it is eight. And I take one point away for dolphin diving being too sticky. Mm -hmm. And the second being, what did I say it was? The UI, the you said? UI. The you UI. still don't like the UI? It, it's the same. They copy and pasted it and changed the color. I do mm. like the sound effect, though. I do like the sound effect of right. of everything. The sound effects. I like the sound effects of the UI, which is weird. Like mm. these small things. To yeah, me. yeah. Like the headshot like, noise, the, the head EXP shot. token noise, yeah. all that stuff. Wow. The headshot sound effect in yeah. Modern Warfare 2019. Beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous to my ears, bro. Loved that. That boom. You know? Yeah. I loved it. Mm. The team wipe sound effect. Loved it. Yeah. The team wipe sound effect is horrible in Modern Warfare 2, and the mm. headshot sound effect is okay in Modern Warfare 2, but I I think they're better in Modern Warfare I think 2. They're better now. So you give it eight, but you just didn't like some sound effects and dolphin dive movement. Yeah. That. yeah that, that's that's pretty much for me. Much for me, it's an eight out of ten. Would have been a nine or a ten if the stinger there was the, the stinger and the MCW just dominated the entire beta. The MCW Assault Rifle and the Stinger SMG just dominated the entire beta. So, like, yeah. you didn't really get to play around. Once SBMM kicked in, like, in the games where SBMM really kicked in, you didn't get to play around with the LMGs properly, all that stuff. And I know LMGs do need to be slower and clunkier, but the difference was so huge. Uh, like, I didn't really, like, I would, I was, like, when I unlocked the second LMG, I was like, I'm going to run this, and I was just, like, I couldn't get a kill. I was just getting beamed every time, and because, obviously, the old maps are smaller as well. There are a lot more close quarters yeah. for that. Um, and it pissed me off that I couldn't pick a game mode. Like, I hate, I hate when you play a mosh pit and it's random what game mode you get. I hate that. I hate mm -hmm. that. I'm glad yeah. they brought in Search and Destroy as a dedicated playlist. Because if Search and Destroy was in mosh pit and you had to, like, hope for luck of the draw, I'd have been fuming. But for those reasons, the bait overall was an 8, maybe a 9. But um, I like the operators. They look cool. Um, oh, hey, that vault operator's blueprint. Well, like the silver, with the effect. Sick. Yeah, they are. They are really sick. And the skins, I like that the the skin, uh, the skin for the weapon, you can put it on all the attachments now. They don't like I was, it. I was about to bring that up too. And the way it integrates, it it's well integrated. Let's let like I use the blue and the red. Like that's mm -hmm. what I have yeah. right now. Yeah. And I use the blue and the red and the way that they morph. Mm -hmm. Into each yeah. other. It's like a seamless transition for like the color schemes. Yeah, it was very cool. And if, if it's gonna be like this going forward, is very cool. It's a small thing. It's something small. It doesn't give or take any advantage, but it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. And I like I just love the tacticals. I love the new lethals. Uh, I love the new equipment. Mm -hmm. That 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 piece of equipment that captures points for you on domination, or if you put it on the point and stand on it and it so that would class it basically classes another person capturing the flag so it'll either wow. speed up the capture or you can throw it on capture the flag and take position and watch brilliant i thought that was great it was a really good addition. that sounds like fantastic for if you're trying to level yeah it was really cool it was very very cool so yeah eight, eight, eight out of ten for different reasons I right pretty solid nice pretty solid i'm pumped i, I would say snipers are I, i'm just scared you know one shot snipers are back though they confirmed it right the thing is, I'm not going to believe it until I get into <laughs> the game and, and you I hit that shot. Hitting headshots left and right. Yeah. Down someone. That's when I will sing their praises. It's just, it was just so tough. 
so bad for Modern Warfare. But again, though, that's what that's one of the, that's one of the things, and I know we're wrapping it up now, but we'll touch on Call of Duty next. It's one of the things that bugged me about next. No one asked the difficult questions, and no, no one answered the heated. No one answered the 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 hot questions that we want to know. Are one shot snipers back? Yep. Are you going to sort out your playlist updates? Not one. Not one of the creators at the thing asked they anyone a difficult question. Back. Yes. Yeah, back. it's bullshit, man. Like, can you please say, <laughs> hey? Your playlist updates suck. Yeah. Are you going to fix this, please? No one asked about that. No. You know, no one asked about like map rotation. What's going to happen with that? Like, there's a resurgence and stuff. We're getting resurgent uh, fortunes keep and rebirth back. Cool. Huge. I thought that was freaking. But amazing. are you going to stick it in some shitty playlist that updates every 15 minutes? So if we don't want to play a Sheikah, we got to sit in the fucking lobby with our thumbs up our asses, waiting for it to be rebirth. They need to take a Sheikah out. Right? I, I feel like they. I, I hate like Ishika. It's a garbage yeah. map. Just get it out. If if, if we're getting Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island back, no, nah, just take Ashika. You want to keep Vondel in? Fine. Vondel's a great map. Those three, fine. But Ashika's trash. Yeah, it really they is. Need to get it out. They need to get it out. And they need to take the fog away from Vondel. Mm. Every time I play Vondel, every time I play Vondel with the fog, I'm like, I'm done. Can't it's crap. It's garbage. It's it's no one no. no one wants it. Like no one wants it. Do you For see that? They changed the name of Vondel to Von Dead for the haunting. Ah, that was great. Classic. Classic. But uh, yeah, no, I think uh, I think maybe they take they take Ashika out and maybe just rotate between. Yeah. Maybe even take Vondel out for a little bit to see how everyone comes back to Fortune's Keep. And mm -hmm. and uh, I was I wasn't too big on Fortune's Keep. I like Rebirth Island. I wasn't too big on Fortune's Keep. Fortune's Keep wasn't a bad map though. I wouldn't no, say it's a bad I, map. I feel the same way. It's pretty balanced. I wasn't. I wouldn't like. Yes, fortune keeps back. I didn't get. I'd forgotten about it. If I'm honest, I was like, whatever. You know, it's it's, it's really weird that they would have included fortune's keep with. with yeah. Cooper. Again, there's like what? There's about twelve different types of player that play Call of Duty. Maybe the other ten types of player loved fortune's keep. We don't know. Maybe. maybe. Yes. Uh, they're tracking data somewhere. Yeah. For that, for yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. But but rebirth coming back for me was huge. Mm. I think that's absolutely huge, and that's also what gives me even a little bit more hope that they're going to bring. It's going to bump, the play. It's going to bump their live play accounts up as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. I know plenty of people who stopped playing when Rebirth was out. Yeah, they it's only like fun. Rebirth. They don't like Battle Royales. They like the any Royale uh, resurgence mode, don't they? They like that. Yep. I personally like the big boy map. Always will. It's My favorite, win. too. Almadra comes right under Vidansk for me. Big map. Yeah, me too. Just, like, it's a I great like map. Almazo. I wish Almazra City was busier. I wish it was busier. It doesn't seem to be a drop point. You drop on the skyscraper and no one's there. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, I think it is a bit too big as well, though. I think so. Well, the next map is, is the size is between Verdansk and Almazra, and I think that's a good Condensed. size. It's a it's good a size. Intense. Plenty of cover. I didn't give the, this map enough credit when you asked me. The horizontal zip lines? Yeah. That's huge, man. Yeah. They need to speed them up. They do. But I'm really they do, looking dude. forward to sniping people off of that. Line. Yeah, well, because like I, I use them in the ground war mode, and like I think you zip line across them is slower than you sprint. Like it's so slow. I don't know if it's like an FOV thing, but you're moving so slow. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, yeah you move so slow across they, them. They'll, they'll have to. They'll have to do that. And being able to zip wire up all the cranes is great. Yep. Um, and yeah, it's and, and from good. launch, see, from launch, not waiting. Yeah. Every three updates for something. Well, yeah, you know, it's portable redeploys, Call of Duty next, portable redeploys, uh, redeployment flares. They're all in the game. Don't, don't stagger, don't, don't stagger out stuff that should be in there from launch and pass it off as updates. Yeah. They got to stop yeah. that shit now. Don't even do that. Um, yeah, they just took everything, took everything away that they, they brought from Caldera, which is the, the, the money counter, which was huge. Yeah. You know, the, the redeploys, huge. Everyone, and another thing, everyone. Portable buy stations. Dude, portable buy stations, dude. The, the the buy station on the train, huge. Yeah, it I is. Love that. It's awesome. I love that. And being able to really being awesome. able to move it. Like, exactly. Because if you think you, you, let's say you were fighting on the train, right? I've pictured this scenario, and I'm waiting for it to unfold. Let's say you're fighting on the train. The team you're fighting's got their backs to the gas. Yep. You're at one end. You could like flick the switch and jump off. So they have to jump off the train before it moves into the gas. Yep. You know, sort of stuff like that. I think big big brain plays will come in. And you yeah. could have someone that like uses the train as cover. They like rotate into the circle with it. Like say it's an open field. But they've managed to get the train there and then you're like, oh dude, 
The possibilities are endless right no, now. That's going to be sick. I that's think. That's going to be sick. Mm -hmm. The glory hole. The what? Popped up it in the gulag. Oh. <laughs> You've called it the glory hole? Oh, yes. Did anyone else? Did you come up with that? Yep. Yes, I did. I'm going to start using it. Yeah, that's amazing. The glory the hole. I, yeah, we'll think about it because <laughs> let's say you need to get out. It's like, you know, the glory hole. You got to go to the glory hole. We should try and spread that. The glory hole. If anyone asks, oh. I'll say full credit to you, I will. But we should try and spread that terminology uh, out there. Yeah, I've got a whole script of lines that I've been trying to... I'm making a break for the glory hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly like this. That's awesome. Um, so I've dubbed it the glory hole. But the fact that the glory hole exists yes. is so much better than the flag. Oh, dude, don't even get me started on the flag. Um, the other day, I was freaking... It was yesterday, dude. Uh, I was in the gulag and the guy went to capture the flag and I, I preempted him going for the flag, cooked the frag perfectly, oh. threw it at him, it hit the flagpole, bounced back and killed me. <laughs> I swear to God. Are I was serious? Man? It hit the flagpole, bounced back and killed me, dude. That is horrible. Absolutely That's disgusting. Horrible. That gulag yeah. that we've got right now in our manager is trash as well. It's got a high, it's got a low, it's got mm -hmm. different levels. You don't need it. And what I saw from Call of Duty Next is the Gulag is one level. Yeah. Symmetrical, which is a must. Like the Vondal Gulag is the best one. The Vondal Gulag is basically the Verdansk Gulag. It's but with different skin. Yeah. Gulag, yes. Yes. You mean that it, even if they were like, oh, we're just going to keep this Gulag in, I'd be happy. But these four Gulags where it's night vision, blah, blah, could get annoying, but better than what we've got. I, that's the I'm on the I'm on the I'm teetering like this too. I'm wondering what the dynamic I've called dynamic gulag, what it's gonna be, right? Mm. It's is it gonna be different gulag maps or mm. is it gonna be the same gulag and only night and day? But like, there's supposed to be four different variables. Well one's one's a cash gulag, it's just got loads of cash in there. So you got the nighttime one, the normal one, okay. you got the cash I one. Well it won't have money. And I don't know what the fourth one is. Okay, so that so it's it's either so there's only one gulag in rotation that will have cash that you can grab. Yeah, it's the same gulag but different elements. It's always Got the it. same gulag, but it's nighttime, daytime, full of cash, and I can't remember what the other one was. I bet one will be gas. Maybe somehow I bet they implement gas somehow. Okay, I'm just thinking like, what are the possibilities for different types of gulags? Hmm. Day vision, night vision, cash. Gas. Going to. No. Just don't bother bringing it back. Just don't worry. It didn't I work. Hope not, man. I hope not. It just did. That was Unless bad. they can somehow do it that so you're only in a two-on-two -two gulag if you're with a teammate. Then I'm okay with it. I'm okay that, with it. That would be sick. Yeah. That like, would be cool. It only triggers if there's two people from one team waiting and two and you two of you waiting, chuck you in together. I'll be absolutely fine with that. That would be cool. That would be very cool. That would be very cool. Well, dude. Was this was a pleasure. Should we wrap it up? I think we should. I think we, Gulag and Glory Hole pretty much, pretty much ends it up, man. Finishing in the Glory Hole is a good way yeah. to go. <laughs> a good way to end it off. Absolutely. All right, man. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Right. See you guys. Have a good one. Take care.